man, that uh, that first gen freaked me out the other day. <laughs> I was scared to death. I was like, this is it. This is the end of Resto Gen. It ends here. It's done. Like my mind was going nuts. Even though it, it was only running like that crazy for, I think I countered her off and it went from like kind of like a high idle to like screaming for a total of about five seconds, which it doesn't take a lot to do a lot of damage, but I think we're still in the clear. I think we're still in the safe zone. Nothing really got too hot that quick. Terrifying stuff. But anyways, I read through a lot of the comments. I tried to, you know, come up with some kind of conclusion as to what I think went wrong and I still don't have a definitive answer. So what I'm gonna try to do is actually tear into that pump again. I'm gonna take out the four screws, hold the pump down, the throttle linkage, everything. I'm just gonna take everything apart and just inspect everything and just slowly put it back together. Just, you know, check where the power screw is, check where the throttle, you know, position screws are and just thoroughly look through it again. I don't really want to do it all over again, but I need to try to figure out what the real issue was before pursuing any further and maybe starting it again and not being able to stop it in time that actually caused some actual serious issues and I can't seem to find anybody that's like you know within a short distance that you know is super comfortable with these trucks I don't know so that's what I'm gonna try to do when I get back but right now we're running some more orders to the post office we shipped out I think we did 500 yesterday I think we're shipping out over Man, I think it's over 500 more today. We ship every single order. Somebody's like, I ordered, you know, you know, two months ago. And I'm like, what was your order date? And I check it and look at it. It's like October 7th. I'm like, dude, that's not two months. <laughs> like, they're counting November, October, two months. That's not how two months works. That's four weeks, dude. And I, I get it. It's, it's a long wait, which is why we hired twice as many people as we think that we're going to absolutely need. That way we can try to ship out more orders than we're getting in right now. So that hopefully once we launch the next giveaway, which is gonna be a little bit of a gap between this giveaway and the next one, so we can get every order out before starting the next one. And we hired plenty of people, that way when we start the next giveaway, which is gonna be like a week or two after this one ends, we have plenty of manpower to make sure that the orders are out quick. Because you know when I started doing this for the OBS giveaway, I said I wanted to offer some of the fastest shipping in this space, right? And that was the goal, and we were doing really good. And then we got the first gen giveaway going. And that's when it really got chaotic quick. And that's what really freaking swamped us. We had people that were down in the comments like, oh dude, I just ordered like five days ago. My order's right here. Like it was like super, we had super good customers. Everybody's super happy. And then we got swamped. And then people having to wait for orders for, you know, one month that got super, super busy. And then everybody's like, oh, you're never gonna get your stuff. That's not true. Just cause somebody gets super, super busy beyond what's normal in a month, month and a half, does not mean that's the way business is forever and ever. That's not how it works. We just got super swamped. We had to hire more people to make sure we can keep up with that. And now we're shortening that window down fast again. And then it's gonna be quick shipping just like it normally is. Hopefully you guys can understand that. So we got one of the tree stands unloaded. There's another one still in the bed of the dually. By the way, last day, last day to enter to win that truck is today. And if you're wondering why I'm still flying my Trump flag, that is because the election is not over, okay? I'm still keeping the faith that we're gonna have a good president in office, not a horrible one. And I'm gonna fly that flag until we get the official results. And then maybe I'll still fly it after that for a little while. But anyways, last day to enter when that truck is today. And Rosine should be back any day now. Devin has been working away on that every chance he gets, but he works 70 plus hours a week now. So he doesn't have as much free time as he used to. And he travels a lot now, so he's not just like, home every afternoon with spare time to work on our trucks. So it's taking a little bit longer than it normally would. He's almost done with Rosine. She's getting a massive lift and stuff. And then these are gonna be getting thrown on there. We're working on the first gen and I'm taking off my parts of the pump. I'm gonna take it off one piece at a time that I put back on. I'm gonna take those off one piece at a time and figure out where we are with the um, throttle indexing and stuff like that and just make sure you know everything's where it's supposed to be. So we do have some unfortunate news at the first gen. Annoying, annoying issue that I thought we wouldn't have. So I've been dismantling stuff. I got the throttle stuff off again and whatever. Got it where I think it should be. And essentially what I'm having is the same problem where I could get these two out and that and the one in the back just can't, it's, it's hidden right down back behind there and you can only get it 
it was one of these. And it worked yesterday, but it's not working today. I don't know why. Maybe this one's just a hair too small and it worked the first time and I got lucky. But then after using it the second time, it's just, it's just small enough to be not the right one to where it'll kind of rotate within there and hardly catch, but just kind of spin around in there. It's not totally stripped though, but this one's too small. The 3 16th is too small and the 732 is a little bit too big. So I'm gonna have to go and try to find the one. If there is one, I'm guessing there is somewhere. Find something that's the in-between size of that to make sure we can get this done. In fact, this should tell me which one it is because this has a sizing chart on it. And I have the one that properly fits this effortlessly right here. And I'm pretty sure it is this five millimeter yeah five millimeter which would explain why the three sixteenths isn't working perfectly it's very 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 close but it's it's just off enough to where it's not happening so we're gonna have to get a five millimeter ballpoint so unfortunately this is where I'm gonna have to leave it off for now I'm gonna pick the video back up though in probably a few days Continue on with this. Greg and I are going to be going to sign on our new property. We're going to be going and hanging out with her family. We're going to be doing some deer hunting, uh, just hanging out with her grandpa, just having a good time and hanging out with some family and friends. Just kind of taking a, a breather. So we've been doing the giveaways non-stop for, holy crap, I think Two, over two full years, getting close to three now. And only a couple times ever did we even take like a week break in between giveaways. And so we're actually gonna take like a one or two week gap because we haven't done that even in a long time. We've been doing back to back, like this one ends at 11.59 p.m., the next one started at midnight, like that type of deal, starting in back to back within a minute. We've been doing that for, oh man, other than between the OBS giveaway and the six speed uh, Cummins. We've been doing that for a while now. The last six or seven giveaways, I think we've done that. We're going to take a little bit of a break from that <laughs> extreme hustle and uh, we're going to go enjoy ourselves and spend time with family. We're going to have the crew packing orders nonstop, get every single order out before the next giveaway starts, which by the way, I think you guys are going to like it. It's going to be going back to something that we used to do a lot more of and I think it's going to be really exciting. It's going to be a lot more of this type of stuff under the hood, but something that I'm a little bit more comfortable with. It might involve a pee pump. I'm just gonna leave it at that. We're gonna get to working on those tree stands right now and getting those things to run together. Well, we got the first stand done. I'm not sure how long it took. I think it took about 25 minutes to assemble. Not too terrible. It's nothing too crazy sophisticated, but uh, it'll do. So we're cutting this video a little bit on the short side, but I want to show you around the third gen one last time since the giveaway for this truck does end tonight at midnight on November 11th here. So check this thing out. Quick little recap on everything that we did to the truck. We did the light bar pods, the 42 inch curved light bar, which blacked out with that texturized background in the light bar. Contours to the bumper, it's really slick. We paint matched the mirrors. We got the whole hood repainted because it was just heifer hood like crazy, it was bad. I'll show you the rockers in a sec. We got the entire roof redone because that was pretty bad. And then we got this all repainted as one piece. Comes all the way down here, all the way down to the cab corner and the rockers. We got that all redone. These were gone. I mean, rotted. And it was the only rust on the truck, which is so weird because it was the only rust on the truck, but it was really bad. It was just crazy. Like if you look at the frame, I mean, the frame is very, very nicely redone. You know, Cody had that all coated up and powder coated suspension, all kinds of stuff. But um, this was like the one spot that like was hidden from the door. But when you open the door, this was just like eaten out. Like it looked like a shark just came and 
took a giant bite out of the rockers. It was bad. So we had the rockers and cap corners cut and re-welded in. And then we did rock guard protection on those, not just outer, inner and outer rockers. Had him do both when he was in there. The truck, of course, has an aftermarket sound system. It looks like it's a little bit older style, but it does work. It's got Bluetooth and Bluetooth calling and texting and YouTube capability and internet capabilities and all kinds of crazy stuff. It's actually pretty sweet. You got the leather interior because this is a Laramie. So you've got the radio surfing channels control on the back of the steering wheel. Then you've got the volume rocker on the back of the wheel on this side right there. Pretty slick, pretty slick. We did have the bedsides repainted as well. We did do the new taillights on the truck. The other ones, there was nothing necessarily wrong with them in terms of how they looked. I just didn't just didn't prefer them. And then one of the taillights had blown and nothing worked going to it. And it was a brand new one. He said that they just put a brand new one in or new bulbs or something or another. And uh, it just didn't work for some reason after like a week of owning the truck. So we had these ordered to put new ones in there. I feel like it looks a little bit better on the truck, but it's all just personal preference. Of course, that's just my opinion being stated. We color matched the rear bumper because it was chrome. And with everything else being color matched on the truck, except for the rear bumper, we thought, you know what? The wheels are black. The entire truck's black. I mean, everything's blacked out on it. We're going to paint match the rear bumper. So that's what we did. We really didn't change a lot on this truck. And the reason we didn't is because given that this truck has a history that people know about it, like being owned by Cody and what he did to it, we tried to keep it like that as much as we could without tampering the overall look of the truck so that if there were people that liked it the way that it was, it could stay pretty much like that. Of course, you can see the powder coated suspension. It's kind of like a, I don't know, it's kind of like a metallic plum color it's kind of kind of weird um but it looks really cool thank you so much for watching hopefully we can get working on that first gen here and get that sorted out i just gotta go by the proper allen key to get that thing out because um, i got lucky using one that was slightly too small the first time but going the second time around it's just loose enough to where it's not catching now that i torque them back on there for that last one it's not taking it out the easiest so we're gonna have to go get the proper tool before we can proceed further on with that project don't forget to enter to win this truck we ship every single order if you place an order with us you're gonna get it don't forget it's this easy go to lmpgear.com link in the description place an order and as soon as you check out you're automatically entered as soon as you hit check out and you place your order you're entered to win this truck plus five thousand dollars cash every order gets ten times the entries compared to normal and not only that, every single order is going to get random amounts of cash in it. Anyways, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.